Let's talk about a fun and interesting bug, the tiger beetle. So this is the tiger beetle. They're a very interesting type of beetle. They are, relative to body size, the fastest land animal. So the operating term here is relative to body size. So they're not the fastest land mammal, land animal, sorry, overall. The cheetah is still faster. These guys max out at about 8 kilometers per hour or 5 miles per hour, which is not very fast. But again, this is a little bug. So no, they're not anywhere near as fast as a cheetah, but relative to body size, they are the fastest land animal in existence, currently at least. The Australian tiger beetle, I don't think that that's this one in the image, but that is the fastest running insect in existence. So these are some pretty fast motherfuckers. They can also come in some very neat, cool colors, and that's very interesting. I am a big fan of shiny, colorful beetles. They also use that very fast running speed to be absolutely vicious predators. Look at the jaws on this thing. Like, they will eat pretty much anything they can catch, and due to that running speed, that is pretty much anything that is, like, smaller or similar size to them. They'll, if they can catch it, they're gonna eat it. And while not being dangerous to humans, these guys will give you a very nasty bite if you mess with them. Again, look at those mandibles. That is... those are scary. So due to the speed and the overall just aggressiveness of these beetles, they're among some of the most efficient predators in the world. And that also includes their larva. This is the larva of a tiger beetle. I have no idea what species. Uh, didn't look that up. But they also, look at those jaws. Those are also nasty jaws. And these guys are more ambush predators because these guys' legs aren't that built for running. So what they do, they have their burrow, they just sit and wait, and then, again, they're still very fast. They will shoot out of the burrow, grab whatever poor unfortunate insect happens to be near them, drag them back into their burrow to go to town. There's also, you can see that patch up there on the abdomen that is a different color than the rest of the body. Those, that's a special part on the abdomen that has like backwards facing hooks on it to help anchor the larva into the burrow. So if it's fighting with a large prey animal or prey insect, I guess, even though insects are animals, it doesn't get dragged out of the burrow. Those essentially just hook onto the roof of the burrow to help it pull it spray back into the burrow where it can then eat so, yeah i really like these guys they do scare me a little bit i don't think this is one of the things that i am not willing to pick up i will not be picking up any of these if i ever see one partly because i don't think i could catch it because again they're super fast partly because those jaws scare me